Two giants of football going head to head today. The stadium is full and everyone is excited and ready for this one. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next on EA TV. Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Milan team, Mike Mignon begins in goal, Rade Krunic plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield, and up front Olivier Giroud plays alongside Rafael Leal is the lineup for the visitors today. Alex Moret is the goalkeeper. Mario Ruiz starts with Giovanni Di Lorenzo in the fullback positions. Piotr Zielinski plays alongside Stanislav Lobotka in central midfield. And the striker today is Viktor Osimhen. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Opportunity it is. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see, the ideal way to begin. has restarted 1-0 here there to take it away Ozimhen. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Might be able to get in behind the defence. But they dealt with the threat posed. Jihou. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And not cleared away properly. Ozimhen. 
The net is staring him in the face. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did. And that's the result. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Rade Krunic. Giroud. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Victor Ozimhen. He's in here. And there it is! Two goals in a matter of minutes. Incredible stuff. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, Milan get the ball moving again, hoping to find a response to that setback. A move of promise on the flank. Really vital interception. Can they hit on the break? Well, it fizzled out. Rafael Leao. Teammates available. Olivier Giroud, Teo Hernandez. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Could be! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction! Tremendous goal! Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. He has the measure of his man. And the referee says penalty. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. This to give them the lead again. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. After that setback, let's see if Milan can come up with an effective response. Sandro Tonali. Giroud. Hernandez. 
Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Oh, a vital interception. And the counter looks on here. Options available. They need to get bodies back. Well, possibilities in the centre. Oh, he's given it away. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Diaz. Hernandez. And deliver towards the back post. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. And a creative look about this. Lozano. Can he take advantage? And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So the current scoreline, 4-2. There's a slide rule pass. The end product just wasn't there. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Now well, let's see about the cross. And rattling the post. Diaz not the easiest of situations for the keeper well they haven't seen too many chances but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point they need a goal here and now the delivery not away completely and Giroud waits to fire well nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Now can they win back possession and create something else? Olivier Giroud has done it! <laughs> another look and you can see what a good finish this is he holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure that's a great goal and back underway you really sense the momentum may well be with Milan now an advantage with them. Referee says play on. Andre Franck Zombo Ongisa. Good use of advantage by the referee. Zielinski! Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Well, the referee allowed them to continue, but now he's going to go back and hand out the yellow card, Stuart. Well, he thought he was going to get away with that, but quite rightly, he's got a book in. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. 
20 minutes to go. Really getting stuck in. And support available. The pass could do damage. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Rafael Leao. Ozim Hen. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just wide. And they're making a change. Bobega. The clock is against Milan, but they've got the ability still to hit back. Now he must favour the cross. Getting forward. Falls into the penalty area. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Zielinski plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce well didn't go to plan in the end Origi might be a chance here he's missed the chance and they're still behind Stuart well you always hope for one more big chance in the game and that was it not sure they'll get another now. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes, real chance. Where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Well, you don't get too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. And the referee blows the whistle, still all square at the end of 90 minutes.